As you're out shopping for the holidays, don't forget about the tree. There are many advantages to having a real Christmas tree in the home. And I'm here at Rhineland Gardens with Jeff Isles from ISU. Now, Jeff, when you're going out to select that perfect Christmas tree, whether you're in the, uh, the farm or the lot, mm -hmm. what should you look for? Well, there's all these trees look rather small when you're outside, and then you bring them home, and they look really big when you get them <laughs> in the house. So look at look at the size of the plant and fit it to the front room. That's okay. very important. Any special species you should look for? Well, there's there's a lot of choices out there. Uh, spruces we've used for many many years, but they tend not to have the best needle retention. Pines like white pine and Scotch pine are very good, and they're kind of middle of the road, and they're very easy to find in Iowa and, and in the Midwest. And then of course the firs. I think firs are, are some of the best Christmas trees because they really hold onto their needles for a long time. You've got white fir, Douglas fir, and also Fraser fir, which is thought to be one of the Cadillacs of Christmas trees. Is that your favorite? That is. It is my favorite. <laughs> okay. Now when you bring it home, how should you care for it? Well, make sure you put a fresh cut on, on the base of the plant. You want the water to go up into the tree very quickly, very efficiently, and so making a fresh cut is very important. And then get it right into the Christmas tree stand. Make sure the stand never dries out. Always make sure there's plenty of water in the reservoir uh, because these trees will take up quite a bit of water uh, very, very quickly. Finally, think about the lights you put on the plant. Maybe the smaller lights are best because they, they reduce the heat load on the plant. I never really thought about that. All right, thanks. And if you'd like more information on selecting a Christmas tree, be sure to log on to GardeningInTheZone.com. I'm Liz Gelman.